Hello, I'm Darian Graham-Smith, PC Pro's Technical Editor. And I'm Sasha Muller, PC Pro's Deputy Reviews Editor. And today, we've got the Apple iPad Air. It's the successor to Apple's 9.7-inch iPad, and it is very, very thin. I can tell you, it's very, very light, it's only 469 grams, and it's substantially smaller than the old model, which, um, if I <laughs> turn to my assistant over here, you see side by side. Yeah, there's no doubt it's it's smaller and it's thinner. Um, I've got to say though, when when it was announced, when I heard it was called the the iPad Air, I was picturing something, well, something thinner than this. I mean, if you put them next to each other, you can see there is a there is a difference, but it's not it's not as pronounced as I was hoping. Um, it's smaller as well. And it's also a different shape. It's much more reminiscent of the iPad Mini now, which I think I do prefer. Whether somebody who owns an iPad 4 will find it a, a, a worthwhile attempting upgrade, I think is maybe not quite so certain. Yeah, I mean, physically, certainly, it's quite different. It's certainly lighter, but on the inside, quite a lot has happened. Uh, we've now got the A7 CPU, which we found first saw in the iPhone 5S. It's a lot faster. In our preliminary benchmarks, it's up to about 50% sort of faster. Graphics performance is way up. And even though, of course, when you go that thin, you have to make the battery a bit smaller. Battery life is better. We clocked it at 12 hours, 55 minutes in our video rundown test, which is significantly better than the last one. Yeah, and in every way, the, the new iPad, the iPad Air, is an improvement on the old uh, Generation 4 iPad. And uh, I was told in the podcast, in no uncertain terms, that, that I was maybe being a bit unrealistic if I expected Apple to come up with a, a revolutionary new take on the iPad. This is definitely an evolutionary development. Yeah, I mean, of course, the, the main thing is the price has stayed the same. If you're looking at the 16 gig model, you're looking at uh, 399, and it goes right up to around, I think it's 739 for the 128 gig model. Add 4G on top of that, and you're looking at a lot more cash. And on that topic, there is, of course, there is now 4G. The MIMO Wi Fi, of course, and make boost the Wi Fi um, speed a little bit. But elsewhere, apart from the CPU, apart from the Wi Fi and the 4G, there's not anything revolutionary in here. It's just a case of, if you've got the money and you're going to upgrade anyway, maybe this is the time to do it. Click to subscribe to our YouTube channel and come back every Wednesday for new hot hardware videos.